Two weeks ago, I talked about God's discipline, about the discipline of following the Christ way. Got a lot of comment on that, so I want to talk a little bit more about that today. In 1 Timothy 4, verse 7, it says, Discipline yourself for the purpose of godliness. Now, one of the greatest ways to discipline yourself is in a new and a higher way of thinking about you. M. Scott Peck, in his writings, has said, The feeling of being valuable is a cornerstone to self-discipline because when one considers oneself valuable, one will care for oneself in ways that are necessary. Self-discipline is self-curing. Think about this as a new way to think about you, your value as a child of God, what you can do in society, and discipline yourself to not ever go below that bar. God's Word instructs us to live a life of discipline of diligence, moderation, and maturity. But the world often tempts us to do otherwise. Everywhere we turn, it seems like we're faced with powerful temptations to behave in an undisciplined way. But your Creator has better plans for you, better plans for your days and your life. In order to see those plans that you have dreamed about realized, you must do your part in being disciplined in your thoughts and actions. You must hold yourself as a valuable person that can make a difference. As you hold to that high ideal in a discipline of yourself, the discipline of God will also come through you to empower you with strength to do the great things that you dream of doing. The Bible warns us against the dangers of impulsive behavior. It reaches out and it teaches us through the ages that diligence is rewarded, but laziness will harm in the long run. I know that you wish to reap the rewards that God offers. Well, you can do this through a disciplined life. It is a self-curing life, a life that will lift you above the bar in every facet of living. And discipline yourself today so that God can accomplish great things through you, by your life, it is God's purpose in and through you.